Fletcher, according to surveillance video that police have seen, was forced into a dark colored SUV this morning while on her morning jog. Hey guys, it's Shannon with True Crime with Shannon and I'm back with another video. But before I get into today's video topic, if you do me a quick favor, if you like the content that you're seeing here on the channel, hit that like button for me, that thumbs up. And also if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to select all alerts. That way you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, I was not planning on doing a video uh, of any kind. Um, this is Friday night. However, um, thanks to um, Crazy Crime Chick, um, I give her accolades, she um, made uh, brought to my attention uh, that a runner was um, abducted this morning out of Memphis. And um, I, as a runner myself, I wanted to cover this uh, and put this up on the channel this evening in hopes that I can do a little bit to get um, this news out there um, throughout my socials and that sort of thing and please do share it um, you know with everybody as well and if you're a runner or a walker you know please share it with everyone as well um, there's plenty of news articles um, heavy.com actually has some five fast facts so I thought this was pretty good um, information to um, go through real quickly here um, this is this is the runner in question uh, her name is Eliza or Lisa Fletcher and this picture here on the left would be her obviously with her with her child and they blurred out the child but that's her um, and then on the right that's a shot of her from a camera this morning she was wearing it looks like a pink uh, um, bra um, top and then blue shorts when she was out running so let's go through what um, what's kind of known so far and uh, like I said, I'm going to continue to share out all the information that I can about um, this runner. Um, Eliza Fletcher is a teacher and married mother of two who was abducted in the city of Memphis, Tennessee while jogging in the early morning hours of September 2nd, 2022. And yes, I do not like the term jogger. If anybody knows me by my Girls Got Soul channel, but that's okay. This is not the point right now. We just need to find this, uh, this young, young woman. Uh, Fletcher 34 goes by the name uh, Lisa Fletcher on Facebook, but authorities gave her name as Eliza Fletcher. She is from a prominent Memphis family and family and authorities are searching for her. Fletcher was forced into a mid-size dark colored SUV. Memphis police wrote in a news release. Police are actively searching for the missing woman who was taken near the University of Memphis campus. University of Memphis police say in a safety alert that uh, Fletcher was kidnapped. Fletcher regularly runs on Central Avenue, they wrote, and she was reported missing after not returning home at 7 a.m. Her cell phone and water bottle were discovered in front of a house in the three, uh, excuse me, in the 3800 block of Central that is owned by the university. So she's definitely an early morning runner. Uh, which I am as well. A lot of runners either run early in the morning or they run after work or in the evening. So um, it was definitely dark um, when she was running. Sadly, she was running alone, it looks like. So um, let's continue to see the information here. Uh, the alert says that a, quote, male approached her at approximately 4.30 a.m. in the middle of Central Avenue and appeared to leave with her in an unknown vehicle following a brief struggle. Police figured this out by obtaining surveillance video showing the abduction. Wow. Wondering if, uh, sadly, this guy threatened her with some kind of a weapon or something. Uh, police, here's the five fast facts from Heavy. Uh, police released a photo of Fletcher, who works as a teacher, uh, she was jogging shortly before she was abducted. So this is actually the photo that they released, which was above as well. Again, that's what she was wearing um, when she was running this morning. Uh, Fletcher is listed as a teacher at St. Mary's Episcopal School under the name Liza Fletcher. In a city watch alert, Memphis police characterized Eliza W. Fletcher, 34, as a missing adult. Victim went running early morning, was abducted, and forced into a mid-sized, dark-colored SUV, police wrote. They said Fletcher is a white female, 5 foot 6 inches tall, 137 pounds, with brown hair, green eyes, hair in a bun, pink jogging top, and purple running shorts. Well, I guess they're purple. They look kind of blue, but I guess they're purple. The suspect was described um, as an unknown male. Police with 
excuse me, people with information are encouraged to call the Memphis Police Department at 901-545-COPS, which is 2677. And others have described her hair as blonde. So, well, we all know women. We like to uh, color our hair. So she's either a blonde or a brunette. So there's another picture of her. I don't know if that's um, her husband or just a friend. Okay, it says here, police gave additional details in a Facebook post in a statement. Um, at approximately 7.45 a.m., officers were dispatched to assist at the University of Memphis Police, excuse me, at approximately, at approximately 7.45 a.m., officers were dispatched to assist the University of Memphis Police regarding a missing person that occurred in the area of Central and Zach Curlin. Upon arriving on the scene, officers were advised that a female was jogging in the area at approximately 4.20 a.m. when an unknown individual approached her. The female was reportedly forced into an SUV and taken from the scene. The suspect was possibly in a dark-colored SUV traveling westbound on Central. Officers are working to gather additional information. Once we receive updated information, we will provide additional details. In a short news conference, Memphis Police said the University of Memphis called the Memphis Police Department and initially they were handling possibly a missing person. Police then found video that showed a black SUV pull into the area across the street where the victim was taken. The police spokeswoman said the video showed Fletcher was abducted, she said. The suspect has not been identified. Police say they were not aware of any connection to a dark SUV uh, harassing members of the University of Memphis women's cross country team. Uh, number two, police obtained a photo of the suspect SUV. She's seen here. Again, this is early morning, so anything at night is not really a good photo. But there's the image that they released. And then there's another photo as well below. Uh, Memphis police have released photos of the suspect SUV. Here's another photo of it. However, they have not released a desc any description of the kidnapper. Officers have been able to obtain a uh, video of the possible suspect's vehicle, Memphis police wrote. They have, they have only released still photos from it, however, and they still have not released a specific maker model of the vehicle. Number three, family members also say Liza Fletcher was abducted and are asking for the community's help. Family members wrote on Facebook that Fletcher was abducted and they were asking for the community's help in finding her. Liza Fletcher is my niece and she was abducted this morning while jogging on Central near the University of Memphis campus around 4.30 a.m. She was forced into a dark SUV. If you have seen her or have any information, please call 911. Her aunt, Jennifer Sink, wrote on Facebook. Sink works as the chief legal officer for the city of Memphis at Memphis City Attorney's office. Hutchison School posted, Hutchison family, we ask that you please join us in praying for the safe return of Liza Welford Fletcher, 06. Not really sure what that means. She was abducted this morning near the University of Memphis while running. She is a beloved alumni and we pray for her safety for her family. Oh, okay. I guess 2006 was her graduation date. Four, Fletcher showcased pictures of her family on social media and wrote about her love of true crime podcasts. On her Facebook page, Fletcher showcased photos of her husband, Richie Fletcher, and their two young children. In her most recent post in 2021, other than a profile picture of her family, reads, Need a new general practitioner? Can someone recommend a good, easy to get an appointment uh, of doctor or NP? Other photos show her wedding. Uh, Fletcher's Facebook posts were similarly typical. I need TV show recommendations. I'm up for older shows or newer ones. Uh, read one. In another post, she told her friend she was looking for a new true crime podcast. She also wrote about running. Long distance runners, what do you think is the best form of cross training? She wrote, best podcast to listen to while running. I like Serial Up and Vanished and Dr. Death. I enjoy the happy hour and I'll have another. Her Instagram page is filled with photos of her husband and kids, um, biking, family trips, and so forth. She recently wrote on Instagram, The boys woke me with handmade cards, balloons, and breakfast. I love my family. I am an imperfect mother. Every day I am working to move from rigidity to flexibility, shame to grace, perfection and criticism to acceptance and gracefulness. I want to be a mom 
That is a safe place for the boys to feel, be themselves, and fail while learning. As I raise these boys, I am reaching... As I raise these boys, I am reteaching my inner child at the same time. Gotta give a shout out to Fletch Lives, who goes through this process with me and loves me at the same time. Hashtag surrender. Both as the father. And there looks like her with her husband. Uh, Fletch Lives is the Instagram page of her husband, uh, Richie Fletcher. In March, he wrote on Instagram, eight years in the making with this smoking hot babe. Wouldn't want it any other way. Five, Fletcher is from a well-known Memphis family. According to Commercial Appeal, Fletcher is from a well-known family in Memphis. She is the granddaughter of late Joseph Joe Orgel III, described by, a, by the publication as Memphis hardware businessman and philanthropist who has supported causes including Dixon Gallery in Gardens and Church Health. Orgel's obituary says he left behind nine grandchildren at the time of his death. She married Richard Fletcher III in 2014, Memphis Magazine reported. That article described the, the nuptials as a memorable Memphis wedding. Richard Fletcher III is also called Richie Fletcher. The magazine described Fletcher as a natural girl, outdoorsy, athletic, and warm. And the plans for her wedding emancip emancipated from her personality and style. The story noted that Fletcher's parents, Adele and Beasley Welford, were happy to be able to give their daughter the woodland-themed wedding she envisioned. Looks like there's her with her husband. Looks like he's also um, an athlete. The story continued. The wedding ceremony was held at nearby Second Presbyterian Church, which was indeed where the happy couple met. The officiant was Reverend Mitchell Moore, echoing the naturalistic theme Liza's elegant wedding gown by Austin Scarlett was painted with pale mauve flowers. George Robertson, the senior pastor at Second Presbyterian Church, married Fletcher and her husband and told the commercial appeal she and her husband Richie are both very active and great leaders in our congregation. They have two little boys who have come up to me every week and give me a hug. Okay, so I don't really have a whole lot of details to provide you other than what we've already released. Uh, we received a call around 7.45 this morning from University of Memphis. We came over to assist at this location around Central and Zach Curlin. When we arrived on the scene, we were handling possibly a missing person. After further investigation, we found video that did show a black SUV pull into the area across the street here where uh, the victim was taken. We're unable to uh, identify the suspect, but we do know that the, the vehicle is a dark color SUV. Where were you able to obtain that video from? Was it like a neighbor or? I don't know exactly where the video came from, but we have reviewed it. I pushed out the photo of the SUV. So obviously this happened so close to the U of M. Is there any concern, you know, with, you know, the students here or anything like that? So at this time, we don't believe that there is, um, but we're following up on this investigation. It's very important that if anybody knows the whereabouts, of Miss Fletcher to contact the police immediately. There wasn't an exact description of what she was wearing at the time. Does anyone can so, provide those details? So yes, so, so we recently sent out another city watch and she had a pink athletic top and blue shorts and tennis shoes. And we have contacted FBI's on the scene that's assisting us. We've contacted TBI that's also assisting us and we're working with the University of Memphis. Karen, just reflect on, you know, what triggered this massive presence from law enforcement that we're seeing out here right now. Well, originally it started out as a missing person. And after we actually found information and saw a video where somebody was abducted, then that's going to raise the alarm. And you know, in light of this incident, does MPD plan on stepping up patrol in this area, given that so many people are on edge? Oh, yes. We'll have officers all in the area, of course. Uh, so a couple of weeks ago when classes started up at the U of M, mm -hmm. uh, the U of M cross country team, men's and women's, had someone harassing the women's team. Uh, does this have any connection to that? They also mentioned a dark SUV. Yeah, I'm, I'm not aware of any connection at this time. Okay. So at this time, this is all we've got. We will continuously push out information as we get it. But again, our concern is to locate Ms. Fletcher. So if anybody knows where she's at, call the police immediately. Um, so the, the description said she has brown hair. Some people were telling me she has blonde. Is there? Was it blonde? It was blonde. In okay. Yeah. Blonde hair. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So again, um, as they gave the brief update of what the uh, 
um, Memphis Police Department is aware of at this point regarding um, Eliza Fletcher. Um, she was forced into an SUV around 4.30 a.m. on Friday morning near the University of Memphis. Uh, they have no information that it ties to anything. It looks like there was a previous incident with the cross-country team there, according to a reporter on scene. And she did confirm um, that they were blue shorts and not purple, um, as heavy had them as purple. So it's a pink top and, and blue shorts, which was what she was wearing out on her run this morning. So let's continue to get this um, out to as many folks as we can and uh, keep everybody aware of... Uh, her being missing and hopefully she can be returned soon because she's got two little boys as they've stated and uh, if you can't share this video please do share the poster I will be sharing that on my community tab and as well as my Twitter hope you guys have a good weekend and stay safe